All right, I got another uh, 88 GT update, 88 Mustang GT that I'm working on. Uh, right now I'm working on the shock tower in here, driver's side, frame rail and shock tower. Can't really see, but I got that all cut out, the whole bottom of the shock tower. You can kind of see where I got it marked. I'm getting ready, probably going to cut it off at that line because everything above there is, I mean, it's not even rusty. So that should be plenty solid. Um, I got my replacement pieces. I got one right here, shock tower, and the lower part of the frame rail. I actually had a whole front clip that was cut off right here. I found it at the Mustang junkyard in the grass and it was had been in an accident and had been fixed once before you can see the frame well, you can kind of see it's all wrinkled and it's been welded back together there but so I got it cheap 40 bucks for the whole front clip had a pretty good course for it and the shock towers are in really nice shape no rust on them uh, so that was a good deal um, I went out and I just packed the shock towers off. There's the other one right there, which is actually in beautiful condition too. So this is the piece I'm gonna be using. I thought about putting the whole shock tower in before and using this frame piece, but this frame piece, I don't know. I mean, it's probably okay because it's gonna be pretty much I think behind this weld where I'm gonna cut it and uh, so I may be able to use that straighten that out a little bit but I may just make this I have some sheet uh, you know plate steel that's about this thickness and I could just uh, make a piece out of that but anyway I thought about doing the whole shock tower taking it out of the frame rail and you know replacing it all the way up to here um, but that's a lot, a lot, a lot of work to do that, to drill all these welds out. And plus, and you can see, it, this is, it's not rotted through, but it's really rusty. Like, when they did all the work to the front end, they didn't actually paint that stuff. And it does have some rust up in here, which, again, isn't anything structural, I don't believe. It's pretty much surface rust, but, I mean, the upper part of my shock towers are just as good as these ones are, so... I think I'm just, like I said, I'm going to cut it right below this hole and uh, just piece it onto mine, cut mine in the same spot and just piece it in and weld it together. I mean, it's not, it'll be plenty strong. It's not going to be an issue, I don't believe. I mean, this shock tower doesn't hold a whole lot of weight where the springs aren't on it. It does have, you know, some stress on it, obviously, but I'm completely confident that there's not going to be an issue with strength welding it together. I, I'm... So that's probably how I'm going to go about this. Uh, I'm going to put a strut tower brace in the car anyway when I get it together, just because of all the work that I've had, I'm going to have to do up front here. I, you know, it's not obviously not perfect but strut tower brace will definitely help to stiffen everything up so that's probably how I'm gonna go about that so what I'm gonna do is oh man that light shining in there I'm gonna cut finish cutting out the old one and figure out where I'm gonna cut it and everything and then maybe come over here and then I can use that piece as kind of a template to maybe line these holes up and then mark it and I'll cut it a little bit above that mark that I make and then I can trim it down and go. I will get the spot welds out here which aren't factory anymore because those aprons were actually welded on here. It kind of sucks I needed aprons but they had cut out the area where the VIN number was. They had hacked that right out of the apron so the aprons weren't any good anyway. So, but that's how I'm going to go about that and then I'm going to open this frame rail up right here like I did on the car because this shock tower goes all the way down inside here and welds to the frame so I can pull the bottom half of it out 
and then I'll be able to insert it into my frame rail after I treat it, you know, treat all the uh, surface rust that I got going on inside there and weld her back together. So I'm going to work on that and I will get you guys another update when I get further along in this process, show you what I'm, what I'm doing. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching guys.